Okay, guys. Um, today I'm going to show you how to import and export data uh, into R. Uh, so we will begin how to import data into R. So actually, importing data into R is very simple and easy. So, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to import data from uh, SPSS file. Starter file, Excel, uh, and then uh, CSV file, right? So I'm going to sh use this uh, file, but uh, you can also use any file that you have. Uh, basically, it's quite easy and simple. So uh, let's start. Um, make sure you save all your data set, all your files at uh, your working directory. So first, uh, let us clear all object in uh, our environment so click remove list ls we clear all the all the object in the our environment and then uh, we would like to check the working directory so get wd so my working directory is at my document so i'm going to store this file at my document so for the easy uh, for me to uh, call the data, right? So this is very important uh, for faster importing the data. So if you not yet, if you want to set working directory at other place, just type in the command set wd. Then you can change your uh, your directory by uh, specify your your your, your part or address of the working directory. So now uh, let me begin how to import a CSV file. Right, let me show you the CSV file that I have. Uh, CSV file is here, demo.csv. Actually, this is a, a file I get it from uh, SPSS uh, dataset, uh, dataset example. So this is the example of um, CSV file we need to open and look at the, uh, what we call the, the the file or the data itself uh, and uh, we need to make sure there are certain uh, criteria before we import the CSV file we will need to make sure the first row of the data file uh, should be should contain variable name so I am as my you can see my uh, data file in CSV is uh, at the top of the row is uh, variable name and the variable name uh, should include normal letter uh, number and underscore right uh, so cannot be any funky funky uh, variable name right and the variable name uh, should not include uh, special characters uh, such as space or alliance uh, or hashtag and so on so um, another one uh, we need to know uh, the characters characteristic before we import the csv file or others file to r uh, the data the data this data the data or observation should begin at the second row uh, and the first column onwards so second row and the first uh, first column onwards and everything that not part of the data should be removed for example if you have comment in the data, data set you should remove that one and then if you have a level or graph or private table you should remove that one uh, you should uh, leave it clean where it's only contain the data observation and variable right now uh, let me begin to uh, import the data right to import the data let's say I'm using demo.csv right we need to know the, the the name of the file so I'm using read table let's say I'm storing this data as data one I'm going using read table uh, function and then I input uh, the the file name means demo.csv right and then I specify the uh, 
uh, we need we need to read the header is equal to true sorry uh, true and the separator should be equal to comma delimit comma because this is a csv file csv file means comma delimited so click enter well done we already import the data so let me show you uh, the dimension of the data one that I already import. So I have uh, basically 6,400 observation and 28 uh, variable, right? <coughs> okay. Uh, if you want to show, you want to see the first six observation of all variable, just type in head uh, data one. So we can see the first six observation of all data. If you want to see uh, first six observation, but uh, for variable number one until variable number five, right? So just specify the bracket here, one until five, so it will appear variable number one until variable number five. Or if, uh, let's say you want to view uh, more than six let's say you want to view uh, first 10 observation so let's say hey the data one uh, for variable number one until never variable number five let's say for example right uh, and then I want to uh, view first 10 observation right so we we'll appear 10 observation here and equal to 10 right that's all uh, for importing a file from comma delimited text file so it's also uh, work uh, the read table function the read table function will also work for dot txt file right so it's very useful if you have a large data set to store in text the text file now I'm going to show you how to import uh, from Excel so one of the best way to read the Excel file is to export it from a comma delimited file and import it into uh, using the method that I, I mentioned before. Uh, or alternatively, you can use the XLS, XLS package um, or another one we, we have uh, read Excel package. Right. So if you don't have the read Excel package, you need to install it first. Install package um, read Excel. Right. Then you click enter because uh, it's very important be, uh, to to read Excel file into into our uh, into our environment. If you already have it, uh, just Type in library, read XL, then click enter. So wait for a minute. Yeah, uh, this is already uh, read it. So now in read Excel, uh, let me open, show you the Excel file. So I'm using demo.xls. Uh, if you have the current version XLSX, you also work with this uh, command. It is a library. So let me see the let me see the the data first, uh, right? So same criteria that we need to make sure before we import. The first row should contain all the variable name. The second row and the first column start is your observation, and the data variable name should not contain any let any uh any space, any uh, dollar sign or hashtag or alliance, right? And then uh, everything is not part of the data should be removed, right? Okay, uh, so this is very uh, important, you need to know. Uh, let me close this one first. Then the file name is demo.xls. So I already uh, call the library, read xl. So I'm going to store the data to, right, using a read underscore Excel <coughs> and specify the, 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 the file name, right, and then um, sheet. Uh, this is very important one. You need to know uh, what 
uh, your data in what sheet right let me show you again uh, the data file demo.sls so this is my data so i'm going to import this data this data in demo sheet right and then we have a uh, sheet one as well but sheet one we're not going to call the data we also have a data sometimes we have data but uh, we want to to import a data from a demo dossier a demo sheet so uh, we are we need to specify uh, what sheet name yeah? sheet name uh, in case uh, in this case uh, the sheet name is demo then you hit enter right then now they already read the data into r so you can see data 2 dimension the data to same as a csv file because it's the same data we have 6400 observation and 28 variable right so another method if you don't want to specify uh, the the name of the sheet so you also can use another method by using numbering read uh, underscore excel uh, calling the name of the data demo dot xls and then uh, just uh, need to specify the sheet what uh, which number of sheet the sheet number number one or number two or number three so in this case uh, demo it uh, belongs to sheet number one <coughs> so i specify one so dimension of data two it's the same right I think uh, we stop uh, there for uh, importing. We already covered importing uh, data from CSV file and Excel file. I think that's all. Thank you very much. If you have a comment, if you have a, if you have a question, can put it into my comment below. Thank you. Have a good day.